Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe how waves can be reflected, absorbed or transmitted at the boundary between two different materials. You should then be able to construct ray diagrams to illustrate the reflection of a wave at a surface. And all of this is for triple physics students only. Now this is a relatively straightforward topic but you can expect to see it in your exam. It's a very common exam question. So the question is, what happens when a wave hits a boundary with a different material? For example, glass. In this case, three different things can happen. I'm showing you here a wave which is moving in air. As you can see, this is a transverse wave, but this would also apply to longitudinal waves. Firstly, the wave could simply be transmitted through the material, and I'm showing you that here. As you can see, passing through the material has not changed the wave. Now I should point out that in certain cases, waves can change direction when they pass from one material to another. That's called refraction, and we're going to be looking at that in later videos. Secondly, the energy of the wave could be absorbed by the material. If that happens, then the wave may not pass through the material at all. And finally, the wave may simply be reflected off the surface of the material, and I'm showing you that here. So the surface of material can transmit, absorb or reflect a wave. Which of these happens depends both on the material and on the wavelength of the wave. Now in this video we're looking at reflection of waves, for example light waves reflecting off the surface of a mirror. You need to be able to draw a ray diagram to show how this works, so we're going to look at that now. I'm showing you here a reflective surface such as a mirror. This shows a ray of light striking the surface of the mirror. The arrow shows the direction of the ray, and you must always remember these in your exam. Scientists call this ray the incident ray. We need to work out how this ray will be reflected. So we start by drawing a dotted line at right angles to the surface of the mirror like this. Scientists call this line the normal. We then measure the angle between the incident ray and the normal, and this is called the angle of incidence. Now we need to draw the reflected ray. Here's a key fact that you need to learn. The angle of reflection equals the angle of incidence, and that's true for all waves, not just for light. So here's the angle of reflection and the reflected ray. Now this rule is true for any angle of incidence, so I'm showing you another reflected ray here, and again you can see that the angle of reflection equals the angle of incidence. I'm showing you here an object in front of a mirror. We're going to use a ray diagram to work out where the image will appear in the mirror. First we draw an incident ray from the object to the mirror. Now draw the normal at right angles to the surface of the mirror and then draw the reflected ray. Remember to draw arrows showing the direction of both the incident and the reflected rays. Now draw another incident ray from the object reflecting off the mirror like this. Finally, extend the two reflected rays back into the mirror. Where these lines meet tells us the position of the image. Remember you'll find plenty of questions on reflection in my vision workbook and you can get that by clicking on the link above. 